Bryson, in part one, we kind of dove a little bit of a high level around FinOps. What are you seeing not only with AWS, your customer, or even cu other customers that you're talking to around CFM, you know, the FinOps adoption and things. But in this, I really want to dive into the AWS discount instruments, talking about reserve instances, convertible RIs, and savings plans. Before we get to that, I know you're really good at it. I know we did it in part one, but could you give everybody a definition of what those three are? Yeah, sure thing. So if we start with the first one that came out, that's a standard reserved instance. A reserved instance is essentially a customer committing to use a the same instance type in the same region, operating system, and tenancy for a one to three year term, paying all upfront, partial upfront, or no upfront, in return getting up to a 72% discount off of EC2 on demand. AWS then came out with a convertible RI, which allows you to stay in the same region, but you can modify, rather convert, the instance type, the operating system, or the tenancy throughout that one or three year term, as long as you're keeping the total term value of that RI the same or greater. AWS then came out with what we call compute savings plans and instance savings plans, which remove the need for users to manually go in and exchange the RI. Rather, these savings plans operate as an hourly commitment of spend that then apply to the best, highest discount savings usage in that hour, every hour for one or three year commitment.